in the winter I prepared the hull, I, I scraped it first and uh, ground sanded the hull and uh, ground down the keels and then I put some phosphoric acid on it and uh, on the keels and uh, just before epoxying it now in the last few weeks I've uh, used a product called Furtan which is a, a German made um, it's I think it's based on nitric oxide or something like a nitric acid so um, that turns the uh, iron a kind of a black color and uh, it sort of converts the any r remaining rust there but it was pretty ground down anyway um, this morning I've applied the first coat of gel shield which is gray and it'll be uh, overcoated now with the green this afternoon this is all the stuff I've got there ready one, one can down it the cans are two and a half liter each and the westerly fumer is uh, handy because it just uh, uses up about two and a half liters when you by the time you rolled it on so uh, I've got a busy afternoon now uh, applying two more coats and what I'm going to do this time is uh, put some copper into the uh, gel shield so I'll show some of that later I put on the first coat with the copper and uh, this amount went into there about two and a half kilos into two and a half litres so this is for the third one now and uh, you wouldn't think that all this and it's quite a heavy weight it all uh, goes into the uh, mixes quite well into the gel shield but uh, the thing to do is every time you go to fill up the tray is to stir the pot first before you fill the tray to keep the uh, copper suspended and this is what it looks like now uh, with the second coat on and uh, it'll look quite nice I think whether it'll do an anti-fouling job is another thing but five kilos of copper in the uh, epoxy ought to do something here's a little tip and uh, rather than use several trays just uh, put some plastic old wrapping uh, plastic around the tape it underneath the tray so you've got you can just dispose of that and then you've got a clean tray again three coats of gel shield 200 and five kilos of copper and that's so, so that's seven and a half liters of gel shield the second two coats had the copper in the first didn't 